Hello, I'm um, Susan Garnsworthy, currently convener of the Saltai Society, and I'm really delighted to be speaking to our um, nomination and awardee, Dr. Adele Patrick, um, founder of the Glasgow Women's Library and much else besides. Um, I was one of the people that nominated Adele for the Fletcher of Saltoon Award, which honours um, achievement in public life in Scotland. And I firmly believe that she has achieved something remarkable in her work, which started um, when she was an academic as a volunteer with the Glasgow Women's Library, which occupied a space in various other institutions, including the Mitchell Library, um, and has now resulted in the establishment of a marvellous resource in the Glasgow Women's Library at Bridge End in the East End of Glasgow, uh, both an archive and an amazing collection of books um, around the women's movement and gender issues. Um, Adele came to Scotland and studied uh, for her PhD, both at the University of Strathclyde and the University of Stirling. And, um, but I think her, her really significant achievement is taking her academic interest in gender issues, the role of women, the changing role in the last four decades, five decades, and transforming it into a, a public good in the Glasgow Women's Library, which achieves so much and is such an incredible resource for women across Scotland and internationally. So what an incredible way to start a new year. Um, my sincere thanks to the Saltar membership and the council for this incredible honour. Um, I'm humbled to join the wonderful past recipients of the Fletcher Saltoon Award. And I'm accepting it as a sort of concrete form of recognition for the wider equalities movement. And it seems that change making um, has been a perennial and influential characteristic of many um, wonderful people in Scottish public life, past and present. Um, Addressing issues to do with human rights and equity is a fundamentally important element within our um, history and fortunately is part of a community of, of agents and activists and, and leaders across Scottish, Scottish public life today. So obviously on a personal level, it means an enormous amount to me to have uh, any recognition, let alone this um, remarkable award um, from Scotland. So my beloved granddad um, was a proud Scot, born in Kilsyth, where many of my family still live. And um, reflecting on uh, moving to Glasgow to study at Glasgow School of Art in the, in the mid 80s, I regard that as a sort of single most significant and positive life choice that I've, I've made. Um, it's easy to believe that um, deep and profound change on equality is too difficult to realise, um, that the challenges can feel insurmountable. And as I speak, I know that. Um, rights are being uh, undermined, are uh, under threat for many minoritized communities um, across the globe. Um, so this award is meaningful to me, of course. Um, it signals that my own small contribution to public life has in fact helped bring even a little shift towards the, goal, the wider goal of, equ of equity. But I think the, the recognition is of course, um, well, I should say, should be inspiring for others who share um, values and aspirations towards uh, progressive change. Um, the Saltire are recognizing 
end this award, the importance of change making, equality focused, feminist work in the public realm. So in, in recent years, I've been interested in how leadership has had a role to play in, in change making. Effective, and of course I would argue feminist leadership is in my view, manifestly needed to help safeguard the planet, nature, the rights of communities locally and globally. Um, and that progressive and reflective forms of leadership are also vital for cultural organizations and the arts locally and globally. So cultural institutions, libraries, film arts and literature festivals, independent cinemas, museums, community arts resources, are the types of places where I believe new ideas can and should germinate, where people, communities, nations can and might discover themselves and refigure themselves, where we definitely need to see ourselves, our histories, our communities reflected and our visions of the future incubated. Cultural and community arts resources and institutions, in my view, have got a vital role and responsibility to play as the anchor organisations for, in particular, systematically marginalised um, people. I know that some, like uh, the former Bridgeton Landing Library that I'm sitting in at the moment, have historically had the so-called power to convene. They now have a critical role to play in regenerating sort of collectively owned ideas and inspiring visions around the value of civic place. But as well, I think in these challenging times, hope on cultural justice. Questioning how cultural leadership functions or malfunctions and how cultural organisations succeed or fail to meet the needs of people is something of a, a lifelong preoccupation. And I'm, it's still very, very much a work in progress. But in recent years, it's led me to reflect a bit more critically on my own accountability as a, a co-founder, a director of a feminist cultural organization, but also this has encouraged me to be even more curious about what um, characterizes good ways, effective ways, feminist ways of working. Uh, and in this process, I've learned from so many leaders working across Scotland and in, fortunate enough to meet with others in India and Brazil and, and Italy and, and elsewhere in the world and gained an understanding of some of the dilemmas, pitfalls, advantages, breakthroughs of feminist and other forms of leadership. So at a time when cultural organizations really need effective, relevant, accountable methods of working that center people, acknowledge complexity, and are sustainable, equitable, and open to change, I really want to use this award to sort of redouble my efforts to discover the ways that different types of leadership, collaborative, um, collective ways can provide pathways and new blueprints for working. As I mentioned, I've benefited from witnessing and learning from so many remarkable leaders in Scotland over the past few decades and seeing the ways that feminists from the first and the second wave as I've uncovered more about the historical precedents and the more recent waves, how different types of embodiments of courage have brought about change. It has been the greatest pleasure and privilege to have been part of this continuum of work towards this wider goal of achieving equality in the civic and cultural landscape of Scotland. I can't think of a better place to be doing that work. This award, as I say, encourages me to recommit to my own personal purpose, my own demands of myself, and to work with others with renewed energy to explore where positive change can be wrought and how we can build on all the achievements of the past. So my profound and sincere thanks once again to Saltar for conferring this great honor.